what is going on everyone welcome back to another video on my channel and in today's video guys i got some really exciting news to talk about i think that i have found the next big anime x fortnite collab and i'm going to be going over all the reasons and all the hints why i believe this collab is going to be happening very very soon there's a lot of info to cover so please watch the full video to understand where this is all going i promise you guys i have some really really good news for us all and especially for those who are big fans of demon slayer because as we saw by the thumbnail and title this video is going to be talking about why i think that demon slayer is going to be making an appearance in fortnite really really shortly so with that being said if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, please, I beg everyone watching this video, use code CRYRO. It means the world to me, guys. This is the best way you can support me and my channel. So please put code CRYRO in the Fortnite item shop while buying more V-Bucks or anything in the item store. And with that being said, enjoy the video, everyone, and have a wonderful day. All right, so diving straight into the video, we're going to start off by talking about the main character of Demon Slayer and most importantly, his Japanese voice actor. Now, if you guys remember, if you guys keep up with my channel, I did make a video around five months ago talking about why I think Demon Slayer and Fortnite are going to collab in the future. And this was one of the biggest reasons that I mentioned. Basically, this voice actor voice acted one of Fortnite's crew pack trailers. I'll throw it up on the screen as well as the cinematic and I'll include some parts of his voice so you guys could take a listen and see what I'm talking about. But basically, this just shows to me that Epic knows who this guy is and they worked with him in the past and there's no reason why they can't work with him in the future for future collabs such as Demon Slayer. So I know this isn't a really big part, but it does mean something. Like I said, this voice actor is mainly known for, most known for the famous role of playing Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. I know this isn't the biggest thing, but like I said, there's a lot more really good hints and really good leaks ahead in this video. So definitely stay tuned for those. So with those of you who were keeping up with the Naruto x Fortnite collab, might have noticed and heard that Epic did indeed get legal rights to everything on Manga Plus. They got legal rights to Manga Plus and to use anything that it includes, basically allowing it to get legal rights to Naruto. And that's the only reason why they could have legally used and implemented Naruto as a skin or character, whatever you want to call it, into the game. And when we go on Manga Plus, on the website and search for Demon Slayer, we do indeed see that Manga Plus does own Demon Slayer and that Epic owns the rights to Manga Plus, which means that Epic has the legal rights to implement Demon Slayer into their game whenever they want. So they don't have to take extra actions on teaming up with the company or any of that sort of stuff. They already have the rights to Demon Slayer. And this is a really big and important factor, in my opinion, why this is going to happen. Because at the time of me recording my old video, like I mentioned five months ago, they did not have legal rights to Manga Plus at that time. But like I said, now they do, and now they can literally implement this skin into the game or a banner or a weapon from this anime with the exact same name and nothing will happen to them. There won't be any lawsuits because they have the legal rights. So this is, like I said, one of the biggest factors and one of the biggest reasons why they are allowed to implement it into the game. Now talking about Manga Plus and Demon Slayer manga, if you guys don't know or aren't aware of this yet, the Demon Slayer anime was one of the most viewed animes of 2021. In fact, it was the most viewed and was the, the highest ranked anime of the year of 2021. And I'm sure Epic has noticed this. And why would Epic add anything besides the best anime and the most viewed one if they want to get the most sales and the most hype around this anime? So this is a smaller clue, but I definitely do think that this plays a big role in the whole collab because like I said, you would want to collab with the biggest, most popular thing such as Naruto and you will basically make the most profit out of it and all that good stuff with the different companies teaming up with one another. So that being said, moving on to my next point, it is more of a simple point, but it actually means a lot if you think about it. And that is that we have already seen the Naruto collab happening in the game. So we don't have to predict it, oh, it's going to happen, it's not going to happen. How are they going to implement the art style? How is the anime going to be in Fortnite? You know, Fortnite and anime have a completely different art style. You know, anime is 2D, more cartoony looking, and Fortnite is more 3D-ish. If you know what I'm talking about, there is a clear difference between that. And some of us were skeptical, thinking that it's not going to happen because of the different art styles. And like I said, this Naruto collab actually happening 
already proved that anime and Fortnite could go together and they could implement cosmetics into the game. So I don't see any reason why the Demon Slayer couldn't get into the game because of its art design. It's just stupid and what doesn't make any sense. Now, speaking about cosmetics, if you guys pay close attention to this season, a battle pass, you will see that there is a Demon Slayer sword in the game. Now, this is a really big hint in my opinion, because why would they just name a sword Demon Slayer? It doesn't really even have to do anything to Demon Slayer anime, but they, I think that they are kind of hinting Demon Slayer that it is going to be coming into the game. I'll also put up a picture on the screen for those of you who, who aren't sure what that is. It does come with uh, the first tier skin in the battle pass, it's meant for her. And like I said, she doesn't have anything to do with Demon Slayer. It's just more of like a hint that Epic is teasing at us for a future collab with the anime Demon Slayer. So we've just talked about and covered some of the different hints that Epic is throwing at us that are within the game and that Epic just knows themselves and have put within trailers and different team ups and collabs with other companies. Now, at this point, I'm sure many of you are convinced that Demon Slayer has a really big chance of coming to the game. Definitely one of the biggest chances of any other anime collab with Fortnite. And some of you at this point are wondering, okay, I'm totally convinced, when is this going to happen? Unfortunately, I don't have an exact date, as like I said, this is more of just predictions and hints that we've seen from Epic Games. But if I had to make an educated guess and tell you around which exact date it's going to appear, I definitely would have to say around December 5th. Now for those of you who don't know why this date is important, there are two facts to it. Number one, and what I think is the most important fact, is that on December 5th of 2021, Demon Slayer Season 2 is coming out. If you guys don't keep up with Demon Slayer, obviously you guys wouldn't really know this, but for hardcore fans like me and like many of you watching, you definitely would know that Demon Slayer is returning with its Season 2 on December 5th. Fortnite Season 8 is also ending on December 5th. Now, this is a really big date as well, because we are going to be going into a brand new chapter of Fortnite. If you guys aren't aware, everyone is predicting Chapter 3. There are a bunch of different leaks towards why Chapter 3 is going to be happening, and not Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 9, but that's a whole different video. I'm sure there's many videos out there. But basically, Fortnite Season 8 is ending on December 5th, and I'm sure that Epic is trying to make more hype collabing with Demon Slayer and promoting the release of the anime, as well as the release of the anime promoting the skin within Fortnite. Like I, like I always mention in these videos, Epic loves to collab at, a, at good times. They know the timing very, very well, better than anyone else, and when to implement certain things into the game and to collab with different companies. So the best time to expect Demon Slayer x Fortnite collab is definitely going to be on the release date of Chapter 3. And if he does appear in the game in the new season of Fortnite, I definitely think it is going to be a Battle Pass skin. Like I mentioned earlier, the sword Demon Slayer was in the Battle Pass. So I would assume that this skin is going to be a Battle Pass skin. But don't take my word for it. It could very well be an item shop skin because Fortnite is definitely going to make much more money off it. As well as it could promote the Battle Pass if it is in the Battle Pass for more people to buy the Battle Pass that play Fortnite and watch the anime. So it could be one of those. It could even be a tournament skin. You never know. But like I said, the highest possibility is that it is going to be a Battle Pass skin if it does come out on December 5th or at the release date of Chapter 3 of Fortnite. So talking about if it does happen and it does appear in the game on that release date, what are, the, what are some other things that possibly could be seen with this collab? Well, 100% some skins are going to be in the game with this collab, such as some of the main characters like Tanjiro, Sorry if I butcher these names, I'm not really good with names. Nezuko, as well as Zenitsu, and Hashibira. Now those are just some of the possible skins to come. We don't, Like I said, we don't know exactly what's coming, but if there were skins, I would assume that these skins are the main important characters in the anime, and they would make an appearance into the game. Some items that we might get is obviously some weapons from Demon Slayer, like some swords, or some cool powers, mythical weapons, that will allow us to recreate some of the powers that were used in Demon Slayer. So that being said, I hope I made a lot more people hyped up about this collab. I sure did hype myself up while making this video. I am very looking forward to this collab actually happening in the future. So if you are too, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly use code CRYRO in the Fortnite item shop when purchasing any item from the item store. 
Also, comment your thoughts down below. I love to hear your opinions on this topic. Tell me why you agree, disagree. Maybe some things that you might be thinking that I didn't include in this video. And with that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Love you all, guys. Bye-bye.